Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, everybody. Bye. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So let me see, Sulma, how are you? Uh, a little tired. Oh, okay. You had a hard day today, I bet. It was a hard one. Yes. Okay. And you? And you? Yeah, I'm tired too. I need to be, I needed to be Friday already. I need to go on the weekend and have some time to rest. <laughs> but we're almost there, so that's the good news. <laughs> Let me see, Tony. Good okay. evening. Hello, Tony. Hi. How are you? How's everything? Hello. Hi, I can hear you. How are you? Okay, meanwhile, you check that, Tony. Let me say hi to Arnoldo. Hi, Arnoldo. Hi, hi, Missy. How are you? I'm good, and you? Mira, ya quité la cama. Mm. La I'm fine. I'm fine. And, Great. I'm good. All right. Yeah. Uh, How was your day? We we uh, we somewhat uh, busy at work. Okay. So you had a busy day. Well, uh, drinking coffee. <laughs> oh, okay. You also had time for coffee. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, Dalia Ramos. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? How's everything? Mm, a little tired, me too. Okay. So, how was your day? Um, fine, but uh, tired. Okay. You had a lot of work, I bet. Yes. Okay. All right, so almost we are almost done with this day, so that's good. It's almost done. Let's see. <laughs> Jose Manuel, good evening. Good evening, Miss. <clears throat> How's everything, Jose Manuel? Hi. Uh, I good. Thank you. And you? I'm well, just a little tired as everybody else, but we're here. Mm. So how yes, was your I day? Am. I am fine. Okay, so how was your day? Was it good? Oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. thank you. All right, nice. Let me see, what's missing Frank? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are, you, how are you doing? I'm well, and you? I'm very fine. Great. Very good. I had a, I had, I had a normal day working in, in, the, in the morning and in the afternoon I have my, I, did, I don't work for this day in the afternoon. So I oh. went to, to run 15 kilometers as part of my training and I'm here Ready Whoa. to learn. Great. Sounds very, very nice. Okay. Thanks. Let me see, Dalia Margarita. How are you? Hi, good night. Good evening. I'm okay. How are you? All right. I'm good. And how was your day? It was busy. <laughs> busy. As everybody yeah. else's day. Okay, but it was fine. 
it was yeah, all right. Maybe to the end. <laughs> okay, that's good. Carlos Jose, yeah. good evening. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Fine. And you? Great. I'm okay. I know. <laughs> How was your day? Okay. Um, it's too busy. It was busy? As usual, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, happy. Or tomorrow is Friday. Yes, right. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> Let's see, Carmelina, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. Just fine. How was your day? I had a good day. You had a, a good one. Okay, perfect. Did you have to work today? Yes. You did? I worked today. Okay. And let me see. Um, how can I create it? Just give me a second. Tony, can you hear me now? Hi, Tony. Hi. How are you? Hi. Great. How was your day? A little tired. Okay. So you said you had a free day today, right? You didn't have to work. Um, oh, sorry, is it Spanish? <laughs> sorry, so Tony, you didn't have to work today. I'm sorry, repeat, repeat them, please. Sure, you didn't have to work today. You didn't work. No trabajo ahora, right? Hi, Miss. Oh, maybe you're having trouble with the headset or the connection or something, Tony. Oh. Okay, so Cecilia, good evening. Hi, Miss, good evening. How's everything? Excuse me? How's everything? How are you? Uh, a little tired. A little tired. Okay. How was your day? Um, to this day, you already feel the fatigue of the week, but it is almost over. Yes, that's a good thing. So we keep on waiting for Friday, right? <laughs> I know we're all exhausted, so am I. I. I've had a lot of work this week, so I feel really, really tired, but you know, we must continue. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's fine, Tony, don't worry. Okay, so I think we may start with our review. So let me do it. Okay, so we're reviewing the simple present once again because we need to learn it very well. So um, let's remember about the uses. We use the simple present for talking about a present situation. As its name says, it's present tense, right? Present, we're talking about things that are true to the present. For example, when we say we are in class, we are in class. We work very hard, we work very hard, or we live in El Salvador. 
Then we have a second use, which is a general fact or truth. Can somebody help me to read the examples, please? Anybody? Two, two make four. Next one. Five Arnoldo? points are 100 degrees. 100 degrees, Celsius degrees. You see there. Okay, and the Precious next one, degrees. Frank? For the, the next one. President, president makes decision. Thanks. Okay, so those are general facts or truths, right? We say two and two make four. That is something that is real and it doesn't change ever. Also um, related to science, somewhat related to, to science, we can say that water boils at 100 Celsius degrees. And that is something that nobody can deny, right? It's true. And the other thing is that the president makes decisions. Then we also use the simple present for talking about habits, routines, or repeated actions as we practiced yesterday, right? We say, for example, I drink milk every morning. So that is part of my routine, for instance. Can you help me to read the second one, Arnoldo? Read the second example. He, he waits, waits a what movie, watches a movie with his kid every week. Very good. So um, that is part of a repeated action, right? Repeated actions that happens every week. So it makes it part of the habits or routines. Then the next example, can you help me to read it? And let me see. Carmelina, help me to read the, the next example, please. The last one. Yes. They usually go at the park in the morning. Very well, thank you. So those are some examples of habits, routines, or repeated actions. So in general, we say that we got three different uses for the simple present. The first one is for a present situation, we're talking about a present situation. The second, the second one is whenever we refer to a general fact or truth. And the third one is to talk about habits, routines, or repeated actions. Then let's review how to make sentences and all the structure for the affirmative form of the simple present. Remember that we use the verb in its base form for the subjects I, you, we, and they. That means that the verb doesn't change, right? We do not change the verb, we just use the infinitive, the base form. And we also say that we add S, ES, or IES to the verbs for the third person, he, she, and it. Whenever we're talking about he, she, and it, we need to change the verb by adding S, ES, or IES according to the different rules we have. I have some examples. Help me to read the first one, Cecilia. I drink soda on weekends. Thank you. Dalia Ramos, next exam example. Um, uh, you do, you read, please. Um, you do read the book? Just help me to read the example, please, Dalia. Read the example. Ah, perdón, sorry, you. sorry. It's okay. Okay, hey, yes. You do exercise three times a week? Okay, thank you. Carlos Jose, next example. My sister and I eat pupusas on Sunday. Very good. You say my sister and I eat pupusas on Sunday. Lisette, help me with the next one, please. He, he wants ice cream. Help me to read. Lisette, help me to read the example. Jorge and Julia. 
Jorge and Julia. Um, Lisette, help me to read, please. Me ayuda a leer el ejemplo, please. Okay. Uh, Jorge and Julia cooked spaghetti for dinner. Thank you. Next example, Jose Manuel. My cousin lives in Montreal. Thanks. And the last example, Frank. Emily, Emily loves traveling. Great. Let me see, I, I got another one who can help me to read. Um, Tony, can you read it, please? The car makes a weird noise. <clears throat> Thank you. The car makes a weird noise. Good. So those are some examples on how to make sentences with the simple present, right? We have already mentioned that for all the subjects that we have here, I, you, we, and they, we use the verb in its base form. For example, I say, I drink, I drink soda on weekends. You do. We do not change that do. We do not add any S, ING, or anything. We just use it in the base form. You do exercise three times a week. And we also have, um, my sister and I eat pupusas on Sunday, my sister and I. So that is a we, right? If we change it for a pronoun, it would be we, my sister and I. Therefore, I need to use the base form of the verb, eat. Then I say, Jorge and Julia cook spaghetti for dinner. They cook. Jorge and Julia would be they. Then we use the verb okay. cook. Cool. And for the other persons, for he, she, and it, we need to change the verb in a slight way. Remember that we add S, ES, or IES, depending on the verb that we are using. For example, here I say, my cousin lives in Montreal. My cousin lives in Montreal. And I have to add this S to the verb because my cousin could be a he or she. It could be a boy or a girl, he or she. And whenever I talk about Emily, I need to add the S to the verb too. For example, in the case of love, it becomes loves. Emily loves traveling. And then I got the next example, which says the car. The car corresponds to it. It corresponds to it. So that means that I also have to change the verb. I add S to the verb make, make, makes. Continue now. And do you have any questions about the vocabulary that you see in the examples or are we clear about it? Everything's good. Do you understand the meaning of weird? Do you understand oh. this word? Teacher, Teacher the lab. Yes, no. Dale. Esa. That word. Okay, so. Um, weird would be raro. And we also got noise. Do you understand the meaning of noise? Yeah. Ruido. Ruidos. Exactly, ruido. So here we have the car makes a weird noise. El carro hace un ruido raro. That's the meaning of that. Weird, raro, noise, ruido. Okay, now let's continue by talking about the negative form of the simple present. Remember that we use the auxiliary do not plus the base form of the verb for the subjects I, you, we, and they. And for the third person, he, she, and it, we use does not plus the verb in the base form once again. Also, let's remember that we can use the contracted forms don't or doesn't. In the case of do not, we could replace it with don't. For does not, we got doesn't. 
examples. Arnoldo, help me with the first one, please. I do not go to school on Fridays. Thank you. Next example, Cecilia. You do not wash the dishes in your house. Thank you. Next one, Jose Manuel. Jack does not write letters to his wife. Wife. Thanks. Lisette, can you read the next one? Um, she wants to eat pizza. Pizza. Read the example, please, Lisette. You read okay. this one. Samantha? Um, Samantha does not eat candy. Thank you. Carlos, can you read the next one, please? Okay, how about Tony? Can you read it? Yes, yeah, I read it. The cat does not bring milk. Okay, thanks. Next one, Dalia Ramos. Robert and like, perdón, perdón. Robert and I, and I, I like to ride the roller coaster. Great, thank you. And the last example. Um, let's see. Tania Margarita. Robert and I like to. The last um, one. Hannah. Oh, you cannot see it. Ahorita oh. sí. Okay. Hannah and Josh listen to rock music. Thank you. So as you see, we use the, the auxiliary verbs do and does. Once again, we got do for I, you, we, and they. And oh, here I didn't make it negative in this one either, goodness. I didn't realize that. So um, here we use do and in this ones, because we're using the third person, we say does, does not, does not and do not. And also remember that we can use the auxiliary verbs. I mean, we can use the contracted forms for those phrases, right? Instead of saying do not, we say don't. For example, in the first one, I say, I do not go to school on Fridays or I don't go to school on Fridays. Next one, you do not wash the dishes in your house. Can you make it again with the contracted form, please? Doesn't. You don't. No. You don't wash the dishes in your house. Next one says Jake does not write letters to his wife. Doesn't write. We say Jake doesn't write letters to his wife. Samantha does not eat candy. Samantha doesn't eat candy. Good. The cat does not drink milk. The cat doesn't the cat drink. Does not drink milk. Okay. The cat doesn't drink milk. And let's make this one's negative. Let's change them to the negative. So here we would say Robert and I do not like to ride the roller coaster. Robert and I don't. 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 Okay, good. Robert and I don't like to ride the roller coaster. Then we have Hannah and Josh listen to music. So it would be Hannah and Josh do not listen to rock music. In the contract form. Um, Hannah and Josh don't. Don't listen to rock music. Okay, let's continue with the questions. Now let's talk about the interrogative form. <clears throat> Can you help me to read this, Frank? Uh, start with a corresponding auxiliary verb. Use the auxiliary, use the auxiliary do 
for the subjects I, you, we, and they. Use the auxiliary does for the subjects he, she, and it. Thank you, Frank. Okay, let's continue reading, Jose Manuel. Remember the subject got right after the actually do or does. All right, thank you. And we use the verb in the base form once again, because we are using auxiliaries. We do not change the verb. We use it in the infinitive or base form. Here I have some examples on how to make questions. Um, Carmelina, help me to read the first one, please. Uh, I work in a big company. Great. Dalia Ramos, next one. Do you check your emails every day? Sulma, help me with the next one. Does Alan BK, BK for his sister birthday? birthday. 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 Okay, thank you, Sulma. Next one, Dalia Margarita. Does Cristel sell ice cream on weekends? Thanks, Arnoldo. Next one. Does the dog need some water? water? Thanks. Um, let me see. Lisette, <coughs> help me to read the next. Question, please. Do Merrin and I go, I go out on Saturday? Thanks. And the last one, Carlos Jose. The last. Seria, do Chris and Fernando do the housework in their homes? Yes, thank you. Okay, and let's remember that in order to answer them, providing the, the short answers, we would say, for example, do I work in a big company? We say, yes, I do. Or no, I don't, right? In the second, in the second question, how can we answer? Do you check your emails every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Again, we say yes, I do, or no, I don't. Does Alan buy cake for his sister's birthday? Yes, he do. Yes, he? He does. He does? No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, does Crystal sell ice cream on weekends? Yes, he does. Yes, she, in this case, we can go crystal, she does. No, but she no, doesn't. She doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, next one is, does the dog need some water? What do we say? Yes, it does. It does? No, or it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, then we have, do Miriam and I go out on Saturdays? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do. Yes, or... we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. Okay, and the last one, do Chris and Fernando do the housework in their homes? Yes, they do. Yes, they no, do. they don't. Yes, they do or no, they don't. All right, now in order to practice, let me ask some of you the questions. So let's see, Sulma, do you work in a big company? Yes, I do. No, okay. I don't. No, no, just tell me your answer. Do you work in a big company? Just tell me your answer the real answer for you. Responde según su, su información. 
do you work in a big company? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Perdón, right. yes, yes, she, no, sí, verdad, sí. Es. Yes, I do. Yes, uh -huh. I do. Very good. Arnoldo, do you check your emails every day? Mm, no, no, I don't. All right. Carmelina, do you buy cake for your sister's birthday? Yes, I do. Great. Dalia Ramos, do you sell ice cream on weekends? Yes, I do. All right. Carlos Jose, um, tell me, does your dog need some water? Yes, it do. Yes, it does. Very good, Carlos. Yes, it does. Okay, Frank. Do you and your friends go out on Saturdays? Yes, we do. Great. Dalia Margarita, um, do your friends do the housework in their homes? Yes, they do. All right, nice. Now let's continue with some practice. Here I have a list of verbs. I want you to copy them and also to write the corresponding third person forms. For example, we got begin and it becomes begins, right? Begins. So we add S to the verb. In the case of break, again, we add S. So it becomes breaks. Do that, please. Copy and write a third person form. Thank you.
uh, Miss? Tell me. This is exercise. Yes. Okay. Yes, you have to complete it by grading the, the third person forms like this. Begin, begins, break, breaks, build, builds, and so on. And bye bye and cut, catches. Yes. Cut. Okay, thank you. Catch, catches. Choose, chooses. We'll start checking in two minutes. Okay, so let's complete them together in case you have not finished. Or if you finish, you just check. So we got build becomes built, then buy takes an S, it gets to buys, catch becomes catches. Then we have choose, which becomes chooses. Cat Cut, cuts, draw, draws. Then we got drink, which becomes drinks. Be care, sorry. Tell me. In the, um, in la palabra buy, in la cuarta, uh -huh. eh, porque no suele, Ay, le voy a preguntar en español, perdón. Okay. Porque no se le quita la Y y se le pone la I, la E y la S. Oh, because before the Y we got a vowel. Porque antes de la Y tenemos una vocal. Recordemos que el cambio solo oh. se hace cuando antes de la Y llevamos una consonante o tenemos una consonante. Cuando tenemos vocal más Y solo se agrega S. Ok, gracias. Problem. Then we got fall falls, meal becomes feels, find finds, forget takes an S, forgets, give gives, hear hears, no become, becomes knows, Lose loses. 
can pay becomes pays. Mix takes ES and becomes mixes. Write writes. Run runs. Pay says. C becomes sees. Sing sings. Six speaks. Swim swims. And tell tells. And then we have think, which becomes thinks. Gride becomes grites. Understand gets to understands. Cook cooks. Visit visits. Start starts. Finish finishes. Live lives like likes. Enjoy enjoys. So here we have the same case as in by. We got a vowel before the y. Therefore, we only need the s. We do not change it. And it's the same for stay. It becomes stays with S only. Then we got stops, stops. Plan, plans. And cry is to cry is like this. We change the, the Y for IES. Okay, there you go. Do you have any questions about the verbs? Okay, let me give you two minutes. I see some people are still copying and checking. So take two minutes to check. Complete. This is uh, and cry. They uh, agregan es. Sí, cambiamos la y por i y le agregamos es porque la regla dice que oh. si tengo consonante más y entonces debo hacer ese cambio que es okay. diferente eh, cuando tengo una vocal antes de la y no lo hago. Por ejemplo, en el yo solo agrega la S, stay, solo S, y lo mismo pasa con by, by, solo S. Ok. En, vi que también en mix le puso mixes. Mix, mixes. Siempre. Sí, hay algunas terminaciones que llevan ES, por ejemplo, CH toma ES, catch, catches. Um, quiero ver si tenemos otro. Mm, I don't think so, but we also have wash, washes, watch, watches. También okay. las, de, las que terminan en X, mix, mixes. Si tuviéramos una con doble S, por ejemplo, miss, misses. Hay un par de terminaciones que necesitan ES. Ok. Miss. Hi. Eh, estas reglas eh, las podemos encontrar en el manual o. Estas ¿dónde reglas podemos? las vimos en una clase antepasada, si no, me equivoco, no sé si fue lunes o martes, algo así. Eh, sí, el primer día que, que vimos el, el simple present, creo que las expliqué. Pero igual, si gustan, mañana las podemos volver a, a mencionar para que repasemos. Bueno. Ok. Bueno, bueno gracias, Miss. Okay. All right, so let's practice pronunciation. 
Please repeat after me. Begin begins. Begin 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 break breaks break break, break. 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 build builds build 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 buy buys buy 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 catch catches catch catches catches Choose, chooses. Choose, chooses. Choose, chooses. Cut, cuts. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Okay, it's not like cat, like the animal, right? It's pronounced differently. So we say cut, 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 cuts. Cut, cut, cuts. Cut, cut. 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 It sounds different cut. than cut. A. No suena exactamente como una A. Porque si lo digo con A, entonces estaría diciendo el animal, right? Cat. Mm -hmm. Cat. So that one is cat. cat. This one is cut. Cut, cuts. Ready to practice? Cut. Cut, cuts. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. Okay. Now let's say draw, draws. Cut, cut. Draw, draw, draw. Draws. Draw, draw. Draw, draw. Drink, drinks. Drink, 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 drink. Drive, drives. Drive, 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 drive. Fall, falls. Fall, fall, falls. Fall, fall, falls. Feel, feels. Feel, feel, feel. Feel, feel. Find, finds. Find, 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 find. Find, find. Forget, forgets. Forget, 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 forget. Give, gives. Give, 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 gives, 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 gives. Hear, hears. Hear, hears. Hear, hears. No, knows. No, 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 no. No, no. Lose, loses. Lose, 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 Pay, pays. Pay, pays. Pay, pay. pay, pay. Mix, mixes. Mix, mixes. mixes. Mix, mixes. Right, right. Right, 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 right. right. Run, runs. Run, 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 run. Say, says. Say, 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 Swim, swims. Swim, swim, swims. Swim, swims. Tell, swim. tells. Tell, tell, tell. Tell, tell. Think, thinks. Think, think. Think, think. Great, greats. Right, 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 right. Understand, understands. Understand, 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 cook, cooks, cook, 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 visit, visits, visit, 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 start, starts, start, 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 start. finish, finishes. Finish, 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 finish. Live, lives. Live, lives. Live, lives. Like, likes. Like, 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 like. Enjoy, enjoys. Enjoy, 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 enjoy. Stay, stays. Stay, 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 stay. 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 Stop, stops. 
Stop, 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 stop. stop. Plan, plans. Plan, plans. Plan, plans. Plan, plans. Plan, plans. Cry, cries. Cry, 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 cry. Okay, do we understand the meaning of all the verbs we got there? Or do we have any questions? Entendemos todos los verbos? Tenemos alguna consulta? No questions. Check them and tell me. Um, en no, eh, la K pasa en como muda. Exactly, no se pronuncia. Okay. Any other questions? No more? Okay, fine. So now we are going to go to the breakout rooms to get the chance to practice. We are going to make 10 sentences out of these verbs. So you select 10 verbs and you make sentences in the affirmative, negative, and the interrogative form. Take 10 verbs and make sentences in the three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Then after doing that, I needed to continue practicing here, here we have a reading exercise. You have to read the text and answer some questions that we got next. Here you have the questions. Then in exercise number two, we are going to unscramble some sentences. Here you have them. You unscramble them and put them in the right order. Exercise number three is asking and answering questions using the chart. For example, you can ask, does Robert do his homework every day? Does Robert do his homework every day? Then you check here, it says yes. So you answer yes, he does. Or does Rosa watch TV in the afternoon? Does Rosa watch TV in the afternoon? Yes, she does. Um, does Christy help her parents at home? No, she doesn't. And so on, you make questions and you answer them. And that will be the practice. We're going to get, let me see, 20 minutes to solve this. Or depending, well, I'll be checking with you. Okay, so let me send you to the breakout rooms now. And I'll send the exercises to our, what, our WhatsApp group. There you go.
That should be the house. That's she. That's, That's she. she built in the middle. Built a house. Okay. Thank you. Maria Carmelina. Sí, verdad. Sí, María Carmelina. Voy a tomar draw, draw. Y así va. Eh, en tercera persona sería he draws a cartoon. Esa es la cartoon, afirmativa. Cartoon, es verdad, cartoon. Cartoon. Uh -huh. Cartoon. Eh, Negativo sería he doesn't draw a cartoon. En pregunta, does he draw a cartoon? Just remember that for questions and negatives, we use the base form of the verbs, right? So we do not say draws, but draw. Mm -hmm. okay. El maestro Alfonso, vamos. <laughs> um, vamos a ver. Mm. And help me. Mm. Can you help me, please? Puede elegir un, un verbo, verbo de todo. Cualquiera. Puede ser una oración normal, una negativa y una en, en pregunta. Puede decir, sí. por ejemplo, he drinks mm. a soda. He doesn't drink a soda. Does he drink a soda? This is example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Solo que Alfonso okay. lo cambiaría por cerveza, creo. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks a beer. A beer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does he ¿Está bien eso o no? A six ¿Sí? pack. <laughs> Tanto así tengo la cara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no sé. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> son bromas, son bromas. Este, ok. Yo six pack, pero de café. No. Ah, ya sabemos, la Starbucks la vamos a llevar un día entonces de todo. Ah, ok. Entonces, Alfonso, terminaste. ¿Cómo quedaría entonces la, 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 la oración? Eh, lo dejamos en fin. Sí, Perdón, sí. Eh, entonces, ¿cómo sería? Eh, ¿Tendría que ser en tercera persona o...? Como quieras. Ok, solo un momento. Vamos a ver. Eh, oh. Un momentito, por favor. Ok, entonces next sería mm, next, please. para mientras prepara Alfonso. Y Frank. Entonces sería to toddler, toddler. Es como, oh, wait, es lo mejor más fácil. The baby, the baby uh -huh. cries. Cries a lot, uh -huh. está bastante, ¿verdad? Ok. Muy bien, the baby cries a lot. Entonces sería la otra, the baby doesn't cry a lot. Okay. Does the baby cry, cry a lot? Does the okay. baby cry a lot? Okay. She was. 
Vamos a ver. Siguiente, eh. Dalia. Next. Vamos a ver, para mí. She feels happy. She feels happy. Uh, she doesn't feel happy. And does she feel happy? Okay. Caroline. We think um, Emily sings in the party. Emily. Hello, Daniel Ismael. Hola, ¿qué le dijeron? Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, everybody. I'm here. So let me send you the link to join the WhatsApp group uh, for the ones who don't have it. So just click on it and you'll be directed to, to WhatsApp. So you can Erica. do the exercises. Ahí les envié en el okay. chat el, el link para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp. Erika e Ismael. Bueno. Revisen por favor y le dan clic, ahí los va a redirigir al grupo. Vaya ahorita, gracias. Ok. No sé si Ismael está, teacher. No les ha respondido. No. Bueno. Teacher, ¿y a dónde me lo envió? Acá en el chat. Ahorita, permiso. Bueno. ¿Y usted cómo va, Daniel? Ya está. Así ahorita lo... voy a empezar porque ajá, estaba Venga. como esperando a Erika, pero ah, ya, sí, ya Ya estuvo, gracias. Bueno. Igual. Entonces me muevo para el WhatsApp. Es que en el WhatsApp están los ejercicios. Sí, ah, creo okay. que no lo va a poder ver porque están antes de que se uniera. Permítanme los envío de nuevo. Ok. Ahí está, Erika. Gracias. Ok, por nada. Voy a volver en un momento, Dalia, por si tienen alguna consultita, ahí me la anotan okay. y luego me, me avisan. Ok, thank you. 
Uh, uh -huh. yeah. Does that he comes? He's high. He's high. The high. Yeah. Um, ah, como que si él se peina o peina su cabello, algo así va. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vale. La cuatro sería. Sí, aquí también. Poner, creo yo. Ajá, sí, pero para ordenarla. Para ordenarla sería queda. Put, va, put, put, creo que es poner, ¿verdad? Yes, what uh, is poner? Tengo, tengo uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Entonces, Thank you. Poner. Entonces, he, he, he clothes, no. He puts, he puts, he puts clothes. That, no. that sería primero. That he. Ah, ajá, ajá, para la pregunta. ¿verdad? That, that he. Um, ajá. That he. Pero la cosa es como quedaría ordenada. No. Ajá, that he. Uh, that he is put. Clothes. On clothes. What do you want to do? ¿Qué quieren hacer o qué quieren poner? O ordenar la oración claro, primero ordenar. y luego hacer la... La oración utilizando el verbo put. ¿Es así? Uh -huh. Sí. Vaya, entonces, eh, ¿cuál sería el complemento? He puts... He puts eh, on clothes. He puts he puts on clothes on. He puts clothes uh, on. Que sería yeah, como yeah. vestirse o ponerse la ropa. He puts clothes on. Sería does. Does he? Does he? Does he puts on clothes? Does he put? Does he put on clothes or does he put clothes on? Se puede hacer de las dos formas. Okay. Put clothes on or put on clothes. Okay. Miss y, y este y el his. En, el his en qué parte? Ah, o sea, en, en, ¿quieren? O sea, como nosotros right. estamos ordenando oh. la oración para luego hacer la pregunta. Mm. ¿O no? Sí, no, o sea, o ahí te... la oración sería he puts his clothes on, entonces. Uh, la voy a enviar clothes? acá en el chat, si gustan revisan. It would be he puts his clothes okay. on, then the negative he doesn't or he does not okay. put his clothes on. Okay. The last one, does he put his clothes on? Uh -huh. Does he put his clothes on? Does he put his clothes on? Uh -huh. sí, sí, ahora vamos okay. con la cinco. <coughs> He has, has breakfast, ¿verdad? He has. Does, does he? Does, breakfast. Entonces aquí sería, does he has breakfast? Does he Perdón. Has, ya mm. hicieron sus oraciones con los verbos, con la lista de verbos que estábamos utilizando. No. Oh, no. Ah, ok. Es que, no. Sí, creo que nos confundimos ahí con el ejercicio. Entonces, la idea era que hiciéramos 10 oraciones tomando 10 verbos de la lista. Y esas son las oraciones que vamos a hacer en las tres formas. En la forma afirmativa, ah, negativa, negativa y e interrogativa. Luego está el ejercicio de reading, que es nada más de responder, de leer y responder unas preguntas. 
Y este ejercicio que están haciendo ustedes, que es de poner en orden las oraciones. Ah, por eso. Pensamos que íbamos terminando ya casi. <risa> ah, sí, este, sigamos entonces con este ejercicio, pero ya no hagan las otras formas, sino que solamente ponen en orden la oración. Pero ah, siempre, siempre poniendo el do o, o, o does. No, Así en como ese, lo traíamos. En ese caso solamente oh. deben ordenar la oración. Por ejemplo, ah. creo que van en el número... Ahorita vamos sí, en, el seis, cinco. Van en el 6. Uh -huh. Entonces ah, sería sí. nada más la oración. He brushes sí, his teeth. Ya, yeah, solo ordenarlas entonces. Teeth. Solamente eso. Uh, bueno. Continúen. Bueno, gracias, okay. Miss. Gracias. Vamos en la 6, ¿verdad? 6. He... He brushes his teeth. He brushes his teeth. He brushes his teeth. <laughs> He goes to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He goes to the bathroom. And uh, he, he wipes often after he, the bathroom. He, he wipes the bathroom after using. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, no problem. He wipes. Sí. He is. Uh, no, no, watches no. ham. Mm -hmm. He, Ahí vamos he, a his, hacer... es watches mismo. ham. Ah, sí, es la misma, ¿verdad? Ajá, es la nueve. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ah no, ahí sería he ham, ah, no. Ajá. He, he, he watches has... his ham. Yes. Yes, María. Yes, he does. Yes. Según el cuadro. Yes, he does. Ah, es que estamos siguiendo. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, ah, ok. Yes, he does. La otra sería does. Does Ana. Ana. Does Ana. Have exam. Exam. Sería has exam. No, porque ya estamos poniendo el dos atrás. Ah, es cierto. Se mantiene su forma. How exams. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, he does. Yes, yes he, he does. does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Uh -huh. La siguiente es el nuevo Robert. Mm -hmm. Does Robert, Robert. Does Robert drink? Does Robert drink? Wear school uniform. No, he doesn't. School uniform. 
No, hijitos. El siguiente. Ro, dos rosas, rosa. Dos rosa. Green. Green. Uh -huh. In the morning. Drink milk in the morning. Uh -huh. In the morning. Morning. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. Yes, she does. She does. Okay. Yes. Yes. I need more teacher. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> more practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. Okay. Oh, sorry. Tomorrow we'll have the double. <laughs> Sorry, the miss okay. is here. <laughs> it's okay. So uh, you teacher, finished. Hi. Teacher, uh, the rule for a uh, uh, consonant, vowel consonant is uh, only add S, right? Yes. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Yes. So in mm -hmm. this case, um the only thing that we need to take into account is the um, the verbs that end in S. Um, let me see, it's S, S, H, C, H, X, and I think that's pretty much it. Those ones take E, S, E, S, and also the combination um, consonant plus Y changes to I, E, S, right? Okay, so right. Those are the ones. Then that combination that you mentioned is important in, for example, the ING forms. But for the simple present, it's not really relevant. Ah, okay. Así me acuerdo que lo aprendí en la U, más o menos. Ajá. Sí, en, el, en los verbos con ING sí se toma en cuenta porque ese tipo de verbos se se le duplica la última consonante. Pero sí. en el caso del simple present no, no aplica eso. Ah, oh, okay. All right, let me check with the other groups and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Yes, thanks, Miss. Okay. Hi, Dalia. Hello, teacher. How's it going? ¿Cómo va? In exercise two, on Scrabble, the sentences in number five. Okay, that's good. Okay. He has, he has breakfast. Uh, he washes. He ha, no, he 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 washes. He washes. Brushes, he brushes his, he brushes his, his teeth. He brushes his, his, ah, his teeth. He brushes, he brushes his teeth. He, mm -hmm. he brushes. That's correct. Mm -hmm. If you need any help, if you need any help, just let me know, please. Sorry, teacher. Acá, acá estoy. Si necesita alguna, si necesita ayuda con alguna cosa, me Thank dice. you. Okay. ¿Qué habrá pasado con mis compañeros? Ya no le respondieron. No. 
Because to the bedroom. To the bedroom. Bathroom. To the bathroom. Um, he 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 using he using uh, he, he using and that one is he wipes he wipes mm -hmm. wipes would be like clean number eight he using the wipes after bedroom mm, no it's he wipes the bathroom after using uh, mm -hmm. he won't he wipes. He wipes. He wipes after the using. He wipes after. No. He wipes. He wipes using. the bathroom after using. Okay, then it, so we're going to come back to the main room. Okay. All right, see you in a moment. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Did you finish with all the exercises? Yes. yes. Almost. Some people finished. OK. All right. So let's take a look at them pretty quickly so we get the answers. We get clear on the answers. Um, before we get to this exercise, um, could you give me some of your examples, some of the sentences that you made using the verbs? Let me get one from Frank. Do you have one? Check your microphone, please. La pregunta, la uno sería, she builds a house. En negativa sería, she doesn't build a house. Y pregunta, does she build a house? Great. Thank you, Frank. Listed, do you have another one? Um, he breaks the cell phone. Okay. Negative. Negative, Maria. He he does not break break the cell phone. In the question. In question. Does he break the cell phone? All right, very good, Lisa. Let me see, Dalia Margarita. Do you have another one? Yes, I have. Uh, she takes a break in the afternoon. Does she takes a break in the af afternoon? And she doesn't take a break in the afternoon. Very good. Let me see. Carmelina, do you have another one? He draws a carton. 
Okay. Negative? Mm, he, he, he doesn't draw a cartoon. He doesn't draw a cartoon. And the question? Does he draw a cartoon? Does he draw a cartoon? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carmelina. Carlos Jose? Mm. Uh, okay. She runs every day. She does not run every day. Does she run every day? Does she run every day? Okay, good. Just remember that whenever we're using the negative form or the interrogative form, we use the verb without S. Does she run? Or she doesn't run. We do not okay. say she doesn't runs, right? Just be careful with that detail. Okay, so now the reading. Let's practice reading it aloud. So let me ask Frank, can you read the paragraph, please? Andrew get, gets up gets up early in the morning at about seven. At about 7 15 he takes a shower after that he gets dressed and he has breakfast he has cocoa in sandwich for breakfast he goes to school by bus lesson start at nine o'clock he usually lunch at school he comes back home at about three in the afternoon he watches tv and he does his homework finally he goes to bed at about 10 in the evening. Okay, thank you, Frank. Now the questions. Um, number one, does Andrew get up late in the morning? What's your answer? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he number doesn't. two, does he have something to eat in the morning? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Does he like cocoa? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He does. Number four, does school start at eight o'clock? No, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. No, no, it, no, he doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. doesn't. Yes, in that case, we say, no, it doesn't, because we're talking about school. No, it, it doesn't. doesn't. Number no, five. He doesn't. No, does he, he does have lunch not. at no, home? He no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All no, right. Doesn't. Great. Okay, now um, you had to unscramble some sentences. Tell me number one. Let me see. Jose Manuel. Number one. Jose Manuel, check your microphone, please. Oh, sorry. He wakes up early. Very good. Tony, number two. Take a shower. Okay, Carmelina, number three. He, he come his spare. All right. Carlos Jose, number four. Uh, he put uh, she, pardon, he puts on his clothes okay that one could be he he puts his clothes on or he puts on his clothes Any of the options? Please? yes it could be he puts his clothes on or he puts on his clothes okay all right dania can you tell me number five please he has breakfast. Good. Sunma, number seven. Oh, no, number six. Six. He brushes his teeth. Very good. Lisette, number seven. Uh, he goes to the bathroom. Frank, number eight. He wipes after using the bathroom. 
Okay. He wipes after using the bathroom, or we could also say he wipes the bathroom after using. Number nine, Arnoldo. Arnoldo, number nine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. uh, he. He hand he washes. He washes his hands. He washes his hands. Thank you, Arnaldo. Okay. Next one, Dale Margarita, number 10. He goes to school. Thanks. Cecilia, number 11. He studies English. Okay. Sulma, 12. Um, perdón, el número cuál es? 12, 12. Um, he leave school. Thank you. Dalia Ramos, 13. Um, no terminé, teacher, eso. Oh, okay, don't worry. So let me see. Carmelina, 13, please. He does homework. He does homework. Number 14, what is it? He plays with Play. his, his, friend, his friends. He plays with his friends. Number 15, he has dinner. And 16, he goes to bed. Okay, and then you just have to make some questions and answer according to the chart, right? Now, um, let's work a little bit on our students' manual. So please, everybody, go to your Manual, and we're going to check the work on page number 19, first of all. I remember that I assigned it as homework on Monday, I think. So we're going to check. Everybody get your work, get your manual. Page number 19, página 19. And we're going to check exercise number two. We got number one. It says, keep track of the financial accounts of companies. What position is that one? What city I think it's a, a bookkeeper. A bookkeeper, that's right. Bookkeeper, letter A. Number two, help people and businesses manage their finances. That would be? Financial analyst. A financial analyst. That is letter B. Financial analyst. Number three, know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. That is human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Yes, that is letter C. Number four, create and advertise the company over the social media. Digital marketing. Digital marketing. That's correct. Digital marketing manager. And number five, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. That is the insurance e. agent. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Okay, and the last one, design and develop different softwares. Software or engineer. Or engineer. It corresponds to the software engineer. Okay, mm -hmm. then uh, you had to include four job positions from, from the exercise and grade some names. Did you complete this part? Maybe not, it's kind of, kind of hard to complete it by yourself, so. Don't worry about it. Let's continue by working on page number 21. So exercise number one says, ask a classmate about his daily routine and what he does on weekends. So we have already talked about daily routines. Yesterday we did. Now let's talk a little bit about weekends routines. So let me see Dalia, Dalia Margarita. 
Can you start by telling us what you do on weekends? Well, usually I go to visit to my family and then being at home with mom and dad, um, go, going out to some place at the mountains, uh, then eat good at home, like soup and beans with cream and cheese. Um, then watching the sunset, that's what I like. And then coming back to the capital and doing things at the house. And that's my weekend. Okay, nice. Now, Dalia, can you ask somebody else in the group? As a classmate, this question, what do you do on weekends? Okay, um, Carlos Campos, what do you do on weekends? In my weekends, I visit uh, my parents with my baby. Uh, I play video games with my friends uh, online and I, I do my homework of the university Uh, only. Only like that. Okay, yes. Carlos, you ask another person, please. Uh, Grijalba, what do you do on weekends? Uh, on weekends, I visit um, my brothers in the city Atikisaya and I play soccer. And I play in games and in the weekends I watch TV on Saturday and um, I assist in the, in, the, in the class of English in the night. Okay, very good, Jose Manuel. Now you ask another person. Um, Arnoldo. Okay. <laughs> uh, why do you daily routine in the week? On the uh, weekend. The weekend. Okay. Uh, go, go for ride with with uh, the kid and play video games and watch funny videos. Um, Sundays I go to a motorcycle and maintain my my. Mantenimiento, no sé cómo. Maintenance. Maintenance and repair tools. Right, very well, Arnoldo. Now continue asking, please. Select a person and ask the question, what do you do on weekends? Uh, uh, Adalia. Venga, Rodríguez, creo que es, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ramo, ah, Ramo, 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 perdón. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, what do you on wicked? Okay. Um, in the morning, I go to run or swim. I go to the work and I see my boyfriend in the afternoon. Mm, then I go back to my home. I have a dinner and mm, 
I connect to class the English and go to the sleep. Okay, yeah. very well, Dalia. Now, can you ask another Thank person, you. please? <laughs> okay. Um, I boy boy no sé dónde aquí. And um, Carlos Jose Campos. Um, Carlos Jose already participated. So how okay. about another person? And um, Tony. Hi. So Tony, what do you do on weekends? Okay, Tony, what do what do you do on weekends? My weekend usually visit my son, and in afternoon. Um, uh, I play, um, I play in my, in, in my cell phone. Um, what is more? In the night, um, in the night visit uh, the class, the class of the English. Um, Nothing more. That's all. Okay, good, Tony. Let's ask one more person. Select somebody and ask the question. Um, uh, Lisette? Lisette, are you there? Uh, what do you do on the weekends? Um, well, I wake up early and then I go to work. Then I have breakfast, have breakfast. And then I go back home and then I have lunch in the afternoon. I I watch TV and, and then I I sleep. <laughs> and then um, I usually visit my family. And then um, checks my social networks. And I have I have dinner and later I watch TV and finally I go to a sleep. Very well he said. Thank you. Okay, so a couple of things to take into account. We say on weekends, on weekends, on weekends I visit my family, on weekends I go to church. On weekends, I travel to Atikisaya. On weekends, I go out with my friends and so on. And also remember that it's different to say weekends, fin de semana, weekends, and then weekdays, 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 días de la semana, weekends, fines de semana, right? So be careful with that. And um, what else? Remember that we say the English class, the English class. And about the parts of the day, we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we say at night, at night. Okay, now let's practice the conversation that we have over here. Let me read it for you once and then I'll ask for some volunteers to read it. So listen to me. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. 
Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesdays, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. So she is so busy. And on weekend, on weekends, sorry, and on weekends. Okay, so let me ask for some volunteers to read the conversation. Any volunteers? Hi. Yo. Okay, Carlos Yo. Jose and Dalia. Okay. And I, Janet? Yes, you can start. Okay. okay. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her shell is Rachel? very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do? <clears throat> Sorry. And what does she do the other days? On weekends, pardon, on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arrange meetings. She is so busy and on weekends. Okay, very good, Dalia and Carlos, thank you. Now, please everybody repeat. Really? 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 Who is Katie? Who is Katie? Katie. Katie. Secretary. 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 Wednesday. 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 Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Friday. Friday. Arranges. Arranges. Busy. Busy. Weekends. 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 And on weekends? And on weekends? And on weekends? And, and on weekends? And, and on weekends. Weekend. Okay. On the weekends. Very good. Let me have another part to read the conversation, please. Don't be shy. Do I have any volunteers to read it again? Hi. Hi. Okay, that would be Tony and Arnoldo. And Arnoldo. Okay, go ahead, Arnoldo. Okay. Uh, Janet. Yes. Okay. Uh, good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katy is very busy. Uh, real, really? Who is Kerry? The new secretary. Here, so is very, very tight. Very tight. On Monday, she makes money phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the productions. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, 
she sent some emails to the book, uh, bookkeeper. 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 Uh, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is so bush, bushy. Busy. Uh, busy. Uh, she is so busy um, on weekend. All right, very well. Thank you for reading. Now let's complete this exercise. We have to read the conversation again to complete the chart with Katie's information. Also, what other activities you think Katie does in the other days of the week? So please check the conversation and you have to complete Katie's schedule. For example, on Monday, what does she do? Monday, the locatier. Yes, about Katie. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. She makes many phone calls. And what else? She writes reports about the production. Yes, she writes reports about the production. Okay, now complete the other days of the week, please. What does she do? Wednesday, this uh, she she sent some emails. On Wednesdays, she sends some emails. Okay. Mm, Tuesday, Friday she arranges on meetings. Friday. On Friday she arranges meetings, and that's all we have, right? So we only know what she does on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Friday. What do you think she does on Tuesday? Tuesday. What do you think she does on Tuesday? ¿Qué cosas puede hacer ella el martes, los martes? Any ideas? She does Tuesday. financial report. Okay, she makes the financial report. That could be a good option. And how about Thursday? What does she do? What does she do at work on Thursday? Any ideas? Maybe makes more calls. Okay, maybe she makes more calls. All right. Anything else that she may do? No more she ideas. Pays, <laughs> she she pays to pro providers. Okay, she pays the providers. Providers. Good. All right. Very well. Now that we completed this page, let's move to page number twenty-seven. Let me see. We got a couple of minutes. Page number 27. So here um, it says, ask different partners what each of the occupations that uh, the workplace. So let's just um, keep this blank. The name doesn't matter. And we are going to just answer. We'll do it together. So the software engineer, what does he do? What does a software engineer do? Do. We love programs. What? We love programs. Load programs. Develop. Or develop. Oh, develop. Develop. Programs. Develops programs. Okay. What else? 
designs software. He designs or creates software. Okay. Anything else? Maintains a PC. He does maintenance of PC. Right now, tell me about the human resource specialist. What does a human resource specialist do? She her Can you repeat that, Dania? Here. Staff, H, A, R, P. Sorry, can you repeat the word? I couldn't catch it. Here, staff. Here's like this? No, 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 no. Or what? Oh, hires. Hires? Hires. Sorry. Staff. staff. It's okay. He hires mm. staff. Okay, so let's stop over here. And I need you to complete this chart as homework. So please, everybody, you complete the chart and we're going to check it tomorrow. And also remember that we have to complete homework number, let's see, today is conference number nine, right? So that will be homework number nine that we have to complete. And remember that we have already assigned homework six, seven, eight, and today, we got homework number nine. So please, everybody keep on working, complete the exercises, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Tomorrow, Missy. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody.